Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Wednesday Wins. It's Brian and Amy here with you again to just share some feel-good stories of what's going on here in Indianapolis. We have an amazing city, and there are some tough, people are going through some tough times. There's some, you know, some grim stuff going on, some serious stuff going on um, here and throughout the world, but there are some feel-good stories out there as well. Um, there's some awesome stuff, just like I said, just some amazing people, awesome stuff happening here in Indianapolis, and we just want to kind of share a little bit about it, whether it's the medical world, the real estate world, whatever happens. We're excited for it. So, Amy, thank you so much for joining me again today. How are you doing? You're welcome. I'm great. Thanks. How are you? So, I'm doing well. So, it's just a, it's, it's going to be a good day. I feel like it's going to be a good Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday. Got some wonderful. good wins here. And you're ready for summer. Or, or, I'm sorry, for spring here. You got I'm ready for next. spring. That's why I'm wearing my floral. I did not wear a tie today, though. I do, I do have something else up my sleeve, but I'll, I'll get to that after a bit. So, awesome. Awesome. So I know, and this is, um, you know, Wednesday wins brought to you by Cyria. Um, love working with Cyria. I know both of our companies do a lot of stuff with Cyria and just an amazing group of people. And a lot of the stories that we hear um, around the real estate world of people doing some awesome stuff and things are coming out of Cyria and things like that. So I know for you guys, like it's business as usual. It's kind of, it's, it's, we're doing stuff a little differently and things, but it's, you're still buying and selling, right? So. Yeah. Still buying and selling, you know, we're, we're still having a lot of showings. A lot of, a lot of investors are still, um, really interested in properties. We're doing things a little bit differently though. We're definitely spacing out people at showings. You know, if it's a vacant house, we're trying to make sure people are not there at the same time so that they can walk through alone and all that stuff, but definitely taking precautions, but we still have, you know, we still have a lot of activity. So that's good. So awesome. So yeah, there's some, there's definitely some wins going on, whether it's like in the real estate world, like I say, and there's some other wins that are going on as well. And Amy and I would like to share um, some of those stories and stuff like that. So Amy, I'll turn it over to you and let's hear about some of the wins that you've heard about from this past week. Start again. Yay. Awesome. Um, there is, there's so many things and I've had so much fun. Um, really just keeping my eyes even more wide open to the good news that's happening around us, you know, just because I want to be prepared for this, of course, but really, really, it's helping me check into even more stories and I'm asking for them and then more people are giving me stuff that I haven't seen yet. So that's pretty cool. Um, one of, one of my friends is a respiratory therapist. So obviously they're very much so on the front lines right now. Um, and she shared, um, a meal train link the other day. So just for the people in her department, you know, um, and it filled up so quickly. It was pretty awesome to see. I sent dinner a couple nights ago, um, to, to their crew at, at the night shift. So, um, I think that's an awesome idea. You know, if you're asking, she said, people keep asking how to help. And, and this was something she could set up super easily and people can go to town. So that's an idea for people out there that are looking to help. Maybe you could set up the meal train for them. Um, Noelle from our team, um, she does all of our operation stuff. You know Noelle, Ryan. Um, oh, yeah. She's awesome. Her dad um, works on the police department at um, Methodist Hospital downtown Indy. And um, she sent lunch for his whole, I think it was 48 meals um, from Jimmy John's. So sandwiches and chips and stuff um, this week um, to them, which was amazing. Her sister, Heather, has been also donating lots of meals to the ER docs and the nurses and um, just the other doctors and stuff too. So that's pretty cool. Um, I keep hearing about things like that. Um, last week, the homeless in Indianapolis are really desperate for, um, for things right now. You know, as people are kind of shut in and on lockdown, um, we have a group from our church called Two Dog Mission and they've been serving the homeless now for several years and they go down every single Sunday. They don't miss a Sunday and they deliver meals and clothing and, and things like that shoes, things that the homeless need. Last week on Facebook, I asked for donations. You know, people are going through their closets. They have more time on their hands these days. Mm -hmm. So I received donations from four different families. I, I went around with my mask on and picked up the stuff and dropped it off. Um, but I have a picture here. Let me share my screen real quick. Um, of some of these, this is what my, the back of my minivan looks like right now. I have six bags. These were actually donated from a fellow wholesaler, one of our other friends, Caroline Hamza. Yeah, um, Caroline. So isn't she awesome? <laughs> so she donated all these bags. I'm going to take over to, to them today for the mission, which is awesome. Um, our church, um, you know, we can't be together this Sunday physically. Um, so instead of doing an Easter egg hunt, they put together goodie bags. And these were on our doorstep yesterday. I took a walk. And uh, I think it was got to 80 yesterday. Um, so that's awesome. Um, another one of my friends said that her, I'm gonna share this, this video, um, her friend's husband has COVID and um, they did kind of a parade. They drove by 
um, family and friends and they're waving and um, just honking their horns and signs just to kind of show their support. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. And I then, like how the cars are also so social distancing. I know they are, right? Like they have to be that far apart. I know exactly. This is another friend, totally unrelated, but I thought it was so funny. She works for a church and this video, her, her, her friend knows that she's the only one there. And um, he just came up and he, get it to play here. He, he just made some faces at her. <laughs> <laughs> he knew she was the only one that would see the video. I was like, that is awesome. So just all kinds of stuff like that. I don't know. It's pretty funny. So no, that's great. So just such good stories and just, you know, people finding ways to just find some humor and stuff and be able to yes. just relate with each other and, and things like that. So awesome. I know like my small group from church last night, we just, we got, we had like a, we couldn't, you know, we obviously can't meet and stuff like that. So we just had a virtual small group and we each had a beer in our hands and just like getting together and praying together yes. and, and talking. So just some things like that are going great. And uh, yes. yeah, one, one of my stories, it's, it's a little selfish. I want to share this week, but I really just want to give praise and thanks to all the people in the neighborhoods around me because all like, there's a ton of little girls that are out like making like hopscotch, things on the on the trails and little games to play as you're going along so I'm loving it. like I haven't are played you hopscotch doing those oh, are yeah. You playing hopscotch yeah definitely so it's pretty good I actually had I got to teach my wife the other day how to play hopscotch so, that's awesome yeah so it's pretty fun so I, I I'm, I'm loving that stuff as we go out on walks and things just to get some fresh air especially with these you know nice weather and stuff yesterday yes They're just like little games and stuff to play you have to hop from this hop from this block to this block and yeah. other things so just yeah thanks a lot for all the little girls in the neighborhoods that are doing stuff like that so it's awesome keep it up so um, I do have a couple of uh, little uh, things to share here as well. Um, so one of the things I know that you said, there's a lot of people that are doing <clears throat> um, just, uh, you know, food trains and, and meal trains and stuff like that. And just people donating stuff. And I love some of the stuff and I, I, I love the phrase on this. So I kind of, that's why I kind of, that's really cute. Out pie it forward. So instead of paying it forward, like if you are in a situation where you are able to give in any way, uh, being able to just like, you know, pay it forward to give, you know, nurses, doctors, or anybody that is in need right now of some food or wh whatever's going on. So some little things like that, like you mentioned, there's just a bunch of stuff going on there and right out there right now, which is great. Um, this uh, police officer the other day, just looking to just kind of raise awareness and just raise some funds. He just did like a little thing where he put on a, he tied on a 40 pound tire and he walked a half marathon. Um, just to like raise some money just for some of the healthcare workers and people that are going through some tough times, things like that, make sure they're just taken care of. So just little things, being creative of how, how can we raise some money to help some people like that out? So awesome idea there. <clears throat> um, and then the last one, I thought it was really cool too. This is out in Hancock County, um, a hospital out there. They actually set up a, just kind of a, a mini food mart. Um, so the workers, when they leave work, they don't have to go to the grocery store and be around awesome. other germs and stuff like that. So they have just a little store here for them and things like that. So I thought that was a really good cool, idea. awesome stuff going on. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things of like, man, I wish I would have thought of that, but it's awesome that everybody else is and just really yeah. helping out and things. So, so uh, cool. yes. So great stuff. But just, there's some amazing stories here and you know, um, and that's kind of why we wanted to do this and why kind of Syria like said, Hey, can you kind of put together some Wednesday wins and, and stuff like that? And that's, that's the whole kind of point behind us. There's some awesome stuff going on in our city, but there's also some awesome stuff going on just as far as business goes and things. And Amy and I, this morning, we have the privilege of welcoming Neil Perry, who is an inspector here in Indianapolis and he's, he's been busy as ever. So, yeah. um, so there's everybody, there's people doing business, there's people buying houses, there's people getting houses inspected. So we are going to uh, cut here real quick to an interview that we're going to do with uh, Neil Perry, but uh, we will see you guys uh, on the interview and then we'll see you next week on Wednesday wins. So take care. Wait, I have a, I have a prop. Oh right. yeah, you got a prop. Yeah, sorry. I got a prop. So they've kind of been back and forth on whether or not you should wear a mask, right? Yeah. So, um, didn't know if you had one, but I'm going to wear to the grocery store next. That is fantastic. And, and, and have you seen... Obviously put a mask here too, but there you, go. you think I'm safe? I, I think you're, I think you're good. I think yeah, that, that's a great. So I think you need the tie, the tie from last week, put that with it and then you're good to go. You know what? I actually still have it in my office. <laughs> So have you seen all these people that are doing like all the, like the memes and the crazy pictures of people wearing different masks and stuff in the, um, you know, in the grocery stores and things like that, like old Halloween masks and things oh, like that. That's hilarious. I know. Yeah, definitely. Everybody look that up because they're, they're pretty funny. So awesome. <laughs> I have not seen that, but I'll definitely have to look it up. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Let's get to our interview with uh, Neil Perry. Take care.
All right, and welcome to Wednesday Wins interview style here. So there's a lot of awesome stuff happening here in Indianapolis in the real estate world, just in business world in general and stuff like that, even during these crazy times. Um, we have Neil Perry with us right now. Neil is, he's an inspector, still inspections going on and stuff like that. So we just want to share kind of about the wins that are going on in his business and what's been going on with him. So Neil, I'll turn it over to you. How, how's, how's it going, man? Very good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. Yeah, so let's let's just talk a little bit about like kind of what's going on in your business. And I know people are still buying houses. I know I tried to get an inspection from you last week. and You're like, I'm too busy, man. So that's, that's a good thing for you. So definitely some wins going on. Yeah, um, actually, believe it or not, this is probably the first week. Well, actually, not this week, but next week is probably the first week that I'll see a dip in business at all. So um, my wife is a realtor as well. So and my mother, she's heavily involved in real estate. So Although, you know, we all hear some of the doom and gloom stories about how real estate's going to tank. Um, haven't seen it yet. And truthfully, in my opinion, we might see a little bit of a lull. But based on my schedule and how many, um, how much my phone is still ringing, people are still buying houses. So, um, you know, this week I was booked all of but, a, but about two spots. So I'm down just a hair, but truthfully, not, not a whole lot. Actually, last week I was completely booked. Um, and in reality... March was actually my best month in three years. So um, although awesome. that doesn't speak much for the summer, it, um, you know, things haven't slowed down from, from what I've seen anyway. So, um, you know, my take from all this is, yes, although it might be a slow time here for the next month or so while we uh, fumble through some of these um, obstacles that we're all facing, things are still really good. People are still out shopping, um, you know, listening to some of the, meetings that my wife attends through her, her real estate company business is still operating. It's just operating differently. So um, everybody's still trying to stay positive and still showing houses, still listing houses. And um, we'll make it through this for sure. In my opinion, I've not seen a dip yet. So um, I'm hoping I don't. Um, and it, inspections is typically a, a good indication of um, buyer's market. So I'm, my phone is still ringing actively um, I booked a couple this morning, so um, hopefully we'll, we won't see the lull that uh, a lot of the people out there that um, are saying that, that we'll, we will see. So far, so good. That's awesome. I love how you said, too, that, you know, business is still moving. It's just, or still operating. It's just operating differently, and that's a very good way to put it. I feel like we're all kind of operating a little bit differently these days, but um, things are still happening, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, when I'm doing inspections, I'm wearing masks and gloves and, you know, I take a Lysol bath and spray uh, every time I enter or leave a home. So um, again, we're, we're all just taking extra precautions. I know a lot of realtors out there um, and investors, they're, they're still looking at homes and still showing homes just in a different way. They're, they're doing virtual walkthroughs. Um, so things are still, things are still happening out there just a little bit slower. Let me, uh, but, but yeah, um, Everything is still still humming away. Just we're all operating a little bit more with with a little bit more precaution. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. It sounds like sounds like we definitely have um, some Neil's or some wins going on in Neil's business. I think that kind of you know sums it up for like all of kind of reality here in Indianapolis as well. I know with us, I know Amy, same thing with your business. So just kind of things are still moving along. Um, things may be taking maybe a little bit longer than usual and stuff like that. But people are still looking at houses. So people are still looking to buy investors, the reality side, kind of whatever we are. So awesome. Definitely sound like some wins. Um, thanks a lot for joining us, Neil. And uh, we'll see everybody next week on another Wednesday Wins. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Good luck. Yeah.